A very pleasant morning to everyone present here. I am Sonal Sharma from Class 8 Sapphire, Roll Number 39, and today I am here with you all to present a seminar on the topic. Wait, I shall not tell you the topic. Let's make it more interesting by asking you all a riddle. So the riddle is: It is the enrichment of nutrients in the soil required by the next crop. Any of you guess? Yes, my head. Soil replenishment. Exactly, soil replenishment. We all have heard about this term, soil replenishment. But we actually don't know what this term actually means. So today I will try to make this term clear to you. After hearing this term, replenishment of soil, two questions arise in my mind. Number one, why is it important and what it is? Now let's do the answer also. So replenishment of soil is essential to maintain the fertility and the quality of soil. Now we know why is it important, but what it is? So it is the addition of mineral nutrients in the soil after a certain period of time to enhance the soil and to maintain its fertility. Now I'm going to tell you some of the methods that can be applied for the replenishment of soil. Basically, there are four methods: field fallow, crop rotation, manures, and fertilizer. Now let's show them one by one. Field fallow. Field fallow is a land that farmer plows but does not cultivate for one or more seasons to allow the land to be fertile. Do you think they do only for the fertility of the soil? Absolutely not. There are two more reasons for the replenishment of the soil. Number two, to rebalance the nutrients. Moving ahead, we come to crop rotation. Crop rotation is a practice of growing different crops in recurrent succession on the same land. This practice reduces the reliance of crop on one set of nutrients. Manures. What are these manures? Manures are the organic material derived from the solid animal waste, which improve the fertility of the soil and increase the crop yield of healthy crops. They are better in long run and do not pollute the air. Manures also increase the soil enzyme, water holding capacity, fertility, texture of soil, and nitrogen mineralization in the soil. Last but not the least, fertilizers. Fertilizers are the additional substances supplied to the crop to increase their productivity. After hearing the term fertility, one question arises in mind: Why do farmers use them? Farmers use the fertilizers in their farms to increase the crop yield. But why these? Because they contain the essential nutrients required by the crop, including nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. They also increase the water retention capacity of the soil and the fertility. Hereby, we come to the end of our first topic, soil replenishment. Now, moving uh, before moving towards my next topic, I would like to show you one of a diagram. We all can make out that they are the root of any of a plant. But what do you say about these circles present here? Anyone? Yes, Niharika. Exactly, root nodules. What are these, and where are they present? Root nodules are present in the roots of leguminous plants. They are the extra lobe of some of the plants, such as beans, peas, etc. And uh, in this, uh, nitrogen fixation bacteria are found. Bacteria found in these root nodules convert the nitrogen from the atmosphere into nitrates, which is useful for the development of plants. So this was all about my today's seminar. I hope it will be beneficial to you all. Thank you and have a cheerful day ahead.